Why archaeologists are afraid to enter China's first emperor's tomb? Hello and welcome to Unique Fact, the channel where we explore the secrets of the past. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most fascinating and mysterious tombs in the world. The Mausoleum of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. Qin Shi Huang was the ruler who unified China in the 3rd century BC, and he is famous for building the Great Wall, the Terracotta Army, and a vast network of roads and canals. He was also obsessed with finding the elixir of immortality, and he spent a fortune on alchemists and magicians who promised him eternal life. But his quest for immortality also led him to construct a colossal tomb for himself, which he started planning as soon as he became king at the age of 13. According to ancient records, the tomb took 38 years to build, and it involved over 700,000 workers, many of whom died or were buried alive to keep the tomb's secrets. The tomb is located in the Lintong district of Xi'an, the capital of Shaanxi province, and it covers an area of about 60 square kilometers. It is surrounded by a complex of pits that contain thousands of life-sized terracotta soldiers, horses, chariots, and weapons, which were discovered by farmers in 1974. The Terracotta Army is one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of the 20th century, and it reveals the military might and artistic skill of the Qin dynasty. But the most intriguing part of the tomb is the inner chamber, where Qin Shi Huang's body is supposed to be buried. According to the historian Sima Qian, who wrote the first comprehensive history of China, the tomb is a replica of the emperor's palace, with rivers and seas made of mercury, and ceilings decorated with pearls and gems to simulate the stars and planets. The tomb also contains countless treasures and artifacts, as well as the remains of the emperor's concubines, officials, and craftsmen who were sacrificed to accompany him in the afterlife. But the tomb is also protected by deadly traps, such as crossbows that shoot arrows at anyone who enters, and poisonous gases that fill the air. Sima Qian also warns that the tomb is cursed, and that anyone who disturbs it will face divine wrath and misfortune. So, why are archaeologists afraid to enter the tomb of China's first emperor? Well, there are several reasons. First of all, there is no guarantee that the tomb is intact, and that the traps and curses are still functional. The tomb could have been looted or damaged by natural disasters, such as earthquakes, floods, or fires, over the centuries. In fact, there are historical accounts of several attempts to rob or destroy the tomb by rebels and invaders, such as Shang Yu, a warlord who fought against the Qin dynasty, and Liu Bang, the founder of the Han dynasty. Secondly, there is the risk of damaging or destroying the tomb and its contents by opening it. The current archaeological techniques are not advanced enough to ensure the preservation and protection of the tomb and its artifacts, which could be affected by exposure to air, light, humidity, or bacteria. For example, the terracotta soldiers were originally painted with bright colors, but they faded or peeled off as soon as they were unearthed. The same could happen to the tomb's interior, which could lose its original appearance and significance. Thirdly, there is the ethical and cultural dilemma of whether it is right or respectful to disturb the tomb of a historical figure, especially one who is considered the founder of China and a symbol of its national identity. Some people argue that the tomb is a sacred and inviolable site, and that opening it would violate the wishes and beliefs of the emperor and his descendants. Others contend that the tomb is a valuable and irreplaceable source of information and knowledge, and that opening it would benefit the scientific and historical understanding of China and the world. So, what do you think? Should the tomb of China's first emperor be opened or not? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe our channel and ring the notification bell for more history mysteries. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.